Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and I have an Optoma smart projector based on Android in front of me that we're going to check out right now. So this is a very small and portable projector which is used to uh, play Android games for example, to watch Kodi or to watch other things. So we get this beautiful carrying case from Optoma. Very nice. Oh wow, it's actually way smaller than I expected. Holy. So let's check out the ports first. We have an AV in input, a uh, headphone jack input, micro SD, Ethernet, USB 3.0, HDMI, USB 2.0, and a DC input. And then we have the focus ring over here. This is the lens, of course, and this is the uh, infrared receiver for the remote. And we have the buttons on the top. All right, so it was a pretty easy installation. I just plugged it in and powered it on, and I got this. This was probably already pre-installed because it was pre-owned as well. But let's see what we have. We have Aptoid TV, files, browser, Wi-Fi over here, Bluetooth settings, HDMI, AV and the apps. So as you can see, if there's a lot of light, it's not that good. Uh, the quality is not very nice. It's AD, HD ready, so it's not full HD, but we're going to turn off the lights and see how it looks when there's no light in the room. All right, I'm using my phone to light up my face. But uh, as you can see over there, um, it's completely dark in the room and the quality is way better when it's completely dark, of course. But uh, when it's not completely dark, it's not that good, actually. All right, so if I go through Aploid TV, you can see a lot of different things. For example, the YouTube, uh, Crossy Rose, Weather, Wish, Kodi, TVZan, Skype, even Skype. You have all the entertainment apps, educational as well. So it's actually an Android tablet in a projector, which is very nice. All right, yeah, one thing I'm already noticing is that it's very difficult to type with a remote. And I really don't like that. So you can connect a keyboard via Bluetooth, but with only the remote, it's difficult. But once you're logged in, of course, it's done. Matt, you met your first date. Other first things. Okay, yeah, sorry, we thought you were asleep. It's physics, Marshall. If the bottom bunk moves, the top bunk moves too. <laughs> My God, you're getting engaged tonight. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? All right, the video quality is okay on this thing. It's not full HD. It's HD ready, but uh, it's more than okay to watch videos, as you can see. And the audio quality is decent as well. Uh, it's a bit of this. Uh, it has a bit of distortion when it's on the loudest volume, so don't put it on the loudest volume. But um, yeah, passed that test. One thing I have to say is that the mouse pointer works pretty well. Um, one thing I notice is that I can't scroll down, so that's uh, pretty annoying actually. So as you can see, this device also has Bluetooth, so you can use a uh, Bluetooth headset on the smart projector as well. All right, so you can of course also add an HDMI cable and connect it to your PlayStation or your Xbox. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I have to say for the price, the quality is pretty decent, but we're going to see what the latency is because I'm, I'm expecting a bit of latency as the things I have already seen are a bit off than usual. So let's see. Getting forward well as a team now. Reflect that the supporters are going crazy. Right, so as you can see, the quality is not 100%. It's uh, 720p, it's HD ready, so for gaming it's decent. Um, if it's your first projector, I would recommend it. It's, it's very nice and there's no latency whatsoever. So um, I thought there would be latency, but there's no none. So that's good. Off the post, opting to punch that corner away. Defended well. Now the counter-attack could be on. Now, can he take them off? He's in here. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. Right, so it works perfectly. So round up on this projector. It's a more than decent projector for the price. You can do everything with it you could do with a normal projector and more because it's also Android based and you can install apps. A normal projector just has HDMI and you can connect your console or your television station but that's it. With this one you can do other things. Of course, 
Um, the quality is a little bit less than compared to a bigger projector, which costs more as well. But um, if you're not really concerned about the quality only being 720p, which it is right now, then I would definitely recommend it for the price. It's a very good and very portable device as well. All right, if you have any questions regarding this projector, let them know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to answer them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you did, leave a dislike and tell me why. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.